boys and girls. I'm Miss Mary Beth and I'm here with Miss Jerry in the atrium today. We're going to talk about and show you uh, where the land of Israel is, where Jesus lived and where he worked and played as a human, just like us. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this globe of the world. The blue is the water. The brown is our land here on earth. On my globe, you probably can't see it, but there's a tiny, tiny red dot. And that shows us where the land of Israel is. In all of this big world, Jesus was born and lived as a human being in this tiny, tiny, tiny little place. So that is the land of Israel. The next thing we're going to look at is a special kind of map, and it's called a topography map. The reason it's called this is because it's not flat like a piece of paper. It has a lot of mountains and ridges and all kinds of things on it, so it looks more like the real land that we live in. This is some of the features of the land of Israel which looks very different now than it did when Jesus lived. But first, I'm going to bring your attention to the blue on the map. We have the Mediterranean Sea. We have the Sea of Galilee. And then down from the Sea of Galilee is the River Jordan, where Jesus was baptized. This flows into something called the Dead Sea. And it's called the Dead Sea because it just stops. Normally, a sea would flow into an ocean, but this is just all by itself, like an island of water, full of a lot of salt, so much salt that people can float in this Dead Sea. All right then, some of the more important cities in this land of Israel are Nazareth, Jerusalem, and Bethlehem. Let's look at Nazareth up here in the north. I'm going to put a special marker here, and that is a flame. The reason we mark this is because Nazareth is where Mary was told by the angel that she was going to give birth to baby Jesus. And this was done through the Holy Spirit. So we use a flame to represent the Holy Spirit and to remind us of that special event that occurred in Nazareth. The next town is way down here. And this is the town of Bethlehem. Bethlehem is where Mary and Joseph traveled to to await the birth of baby Jesus. Mary and Joseph traveled over these mountains and this land on foot with maybe a donkey, a hundred miles to get to Bethlehem. And baby Jesus' birth was announced by a special star. So we're going to mark the town of Bethlehem with a star. The last town is just a little bit north of Bethlehem, and that is called Jerusalem. Jerusalem is where Jesus worked and preached where he was crucified and where he rose from the dead. So we mark Jerusalem with a cross. Maybe you'd like to say these names again with me. Let's go back to the top. Let's say Nazareth, Nazareth. Let's say Bethlehem, Bethlehem. And let's say Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Very good. Those are big words. I also have another map here that I want to show you. That looks a lot maybe like the maps you're used to seeing. It's a flat map of the land of Israel. We can see water and mountains and green grassland. And again, we see our three important cities, Nazareth with the Holy Spirit, Jerusalem with the cross, and 
Bethlehem with the star where Jesus was born. So this is just another way of looking at the land of Israel and how it looked when Jesus walked the earth. If you're interested in doing some work with this information, we are also going to send you something to work with. This is our map of Israel. And as you can see, there are three dots on it. This one is a colored in map. So someone has made a flame by Nazareth a cross by Jerusalem, and a star by Bethlehem, and then done some extra coloring in there of the water and such. So you can do as little or as much as you would like, but we are going to send that work home so that you can think about these things and think about the special time of Jesus living in Israel and how he came to save us. Thanks, boys and girls. We'll see you again soon.